So in this platform, we are going to use it to consider the topics uh, actually that we are going to be working with in our physical sciences uh, that is working with uh, 2025. Uh, we are going to have actually, uh, we are just going to work with waves, sound and light. Then we are going to be working with electricity and magnetism. But as we have these uh, topics, we are supposed to subdivide our topics into uh, weeks or into the days that you're going to be working with. All right. So it is very, very important for you to note and to follow up uh, these uh, separate subtopics as you are revising. All right. So with time, we are going to work out these topics and also uh, try by all means to have question papers uh, as you have requested, guys, that we do so. All right. So the first part we are going to be working, like I said, uh, the waves, sound and light. All right. So you are working with the waves, sound and light, whereby uh, you need to work out. All right. So here, guys, this is the topic. All right. Then other things that you need to consider later on. All right. So under this, we need to work with the transverse pulses. All right on a string or on a spring. That is the first part that you're going to look into. Then also uh, work into the transverse waves, uh, moving into this, uh, on this part. These are sub uh, sections that you need to consider in each part that you are given uh, to define a pulse, a transverse pulse, uh, the amplitude, to define the principle of superposition, define uh, the constructive interference and also destruct, uh, destructive interference, apply uh, the principle of superposition to the pulses to explain using diagrams. All right, we're going to uh, talk about that. How two pulses that reach the same point in the same medium superpose, uh, uh, superpose to constructively and destructively and then continue in original direction of motion. So this is the most important part that is you're supposed to uh, work out with the superposition uh, of pulses that is to the pulses that you are given. Then also you are supposed to be able to define a transverse wave to define the wavelength, the frequency, the period, the amplitude, the crest, and the trophy of a wave, all right, as you are to consider uh, a wave, what is it that you are to consider as the wavelength, all these terms that you're given there. Also explain the wave concept in phase and out of phase, identify wavelength, amplitude, crests, troughs, points in phase and out, uh, and that is the points which are out of phase on, a drawing of a transverse wave. When you're given a drawing, you're supposed to identify these. That is the most uh, important part. Then as we are still under these, well, we are going to move on to the transverse waves. This is the part of, uh, we are still here, uh, take note. There is a continuation here. This one, the transverse waves is just a continuation. This is the one that we are seeing here. It is a continuation, remember already, we have specified something here, uh, all right? We didn't specify here, define the transverse wave, take note. So this is part of a wave, but we shall be referring to the calculations also to use uh, the relationship between frequency and period, all right, to solve problems. Remember, frequency is one over the period. You're also given this formula uh, in your information sheet, or the formula sheet. Define the wave speed and the distance traveled by a point on a wave per unit time. All right. Uh, also to use the wave equation. All right. As you are working with the wave equation, uh, referring to the speed being equal to the frequency times the wavelength that you are given to solve problems involving what waves. So we are going to apply this formula for the speed uh, in terms of the frequency that you're given and the wavelength. Then also we are going to be referring to the longitudinal waves, all right? So working with the longitudinal waves, 
you are supposed to define a longitudinal wave to draw diagram to represent longitudinal wave uh, in a spring showing the direction of motion of the wave relative to the direction which the particles move. It is important that you consider that. Uh, all right. Define the wavelength and the amplitude of the longitude, uh, longitudinal wave. It is important that you define the wavelength as you had before. You had you to define the wavelength here, but it was on a what uh, you're dealing with a transverse wave. This time you are dealing with what? A longitudinal wave. The same thing, these are just, just like similar definitions like uh, that you're going to have there. Then you're also supposed to define a compression and refraction. That is uh, when you are working with the longitudinal wave, right? This is not applicable to a transverse wave. So you have to be careful. Then differentiate between longitudinal and the transverse waves. Uh, so as you have worked them here, you are also supposed to differentiate the two between the transverse and the longitudinal waves. Then also moving on to uh, this part, uh, still on these waves, okay? Still on the longitudinal waves. Define the period and frequency of a longitudinal wave, a wave to use the relationship between frequency and period, okay? That same relationship as you can see. So it is just similar there. Same with this one for the what? Uh, for the speed, but you are dealing with what? A longitudinal wave, but still uh, same properties as you had them before. Then you are going to move on to the sound, okay? So the part of the sound, you're supposed to describe a sound wave as a longitudinal wave, all right? Then explain all these relationships where we are going to apply the sound to describe anchors, use also the wave equation. As we add this wave equation, we are still using it even on the part of sound, all right? So we are going to move on. Uh, still here, we are, on, we are under the sound, okay? So make sure that you are able to work out each and every part that you are given there up to the end when you're working with the ultrasonic, uh, which is when you are working with the ultrasound. Okay, so going on to, uh, we are going to be having now uh, this part of uh, electro. All right, so it was sound here. Then we've got the electromagnetic radiation. All right, electromagnetic radiation supposed to have started. All right, we have got a lot here that we have got. Let sound, all right, uh, describe the source. It is actually starting here. Explain some aspects behavior of electromagnetic radiation can be best be explained using a wave model and some aspects can be best uh, be explained using a particle model. So just go through uh, these. So these are just like uh, the set of things that you need to focus mostly on when you are having a revision okay so move on uh here to the list properties of electromagnetic waves and so on so make sure that these properties guys as you are revising you 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 have these properties in mind that is the where the questions will be taken from on these properties they are not going to ask something which is outside of these so as you are writing even the notes make sure that all this information is presented in your notes. You do not have any part which is missing. All right, then we move on. Uh, still, this part now, electricity and magnetism, make sure that you are able to work out all this under uh, our electromagnetic radiation, which is now extended. We have extended now electricity and magnetism, working with what? electrostatics make sure guys you work with this right here we are starting our electrostatics is starting here state uh, that all material contain positive charges protons and negative charges electrons describe an object all this okay describe uh, all this is on the description all this is just like to describe okay so it's more on the notes Okay, then we move on uh, 
uh, here, all this is all about the knots. It's all about the knots here. Then calculations here. All right. Apply the principle of uh, the conservation of charge using this formula. So there we're going to talk of uh, calculations. All right. Uh, all these calculations. Then the description. All the description is all about the notes. Make sure you write your notes that you uh, make sure that you write the notes that you understand. All right. I'll read the PDFs also that you understand. All right. Calculations here uh, when you are dealing with electrical circuits, you are part of the electric uh, circuits here, right? So that is the part of electric circuits, all right? State the unit of potential difference, all these define, these are terms that you just need to write down uh, the nodes, this and that, all right? So just need the nodes. Calculations here, uh, calculations uh, here. You are going to need calculations, all right? Uh, define one kilo, uh, that is just working with your notes. So as we can see, uh, we have a mixed part of calculations, theory, calculations and theory. So balance as you are revising, as you are making uh, revisions, make sure that you do balance, okay? You do balance. You read uh, whatever that you have, make, find time for calculations also. So we shall uh, try by all means to work out topics and also question papers so that you cover up uh, to prepare yourselves uh, for the control test that you shall have and also to prepare yourselves for the exams which are ahead of time up to the final exam. All right, so we are going to have a control test in March there. Uh, that is one paper, 100 marks. This shall cover everything that you have done in term one that is working with the transverse pulses on a string or a spring, the transverse waves, the longitudinal waves, the electromagnetic radiation, the electrostatics and the electric circuits. So make sure that you cover up everything up to the end uh, so that you'll be able to sit for that control test. So that is it guys, let us try to revise as much as we can. So the comment section, guys, is there so that we communicate uh, topics to be done, areas to be polished up uh, as we shall be having these topics. Definitely, we shall cover each and every topic and also try by all means to work out uh, question papers, uh, recent question papers and even old, 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 old question papers just to help you guys to, to cater up, to figure out how are they going to ask you these typical questions uh, on your physical sciences. So that is it, guys, from MedZone African Motives till we meet again.